Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Papa. This is Diva. I'll talk to this vid. This is if you had pretty privilege your whole life and now you fat. <laughs> this is wild. So these people apparently are going to talk about their experience, you know, being attractive their entire lives and then they gain weight out of nowhere and, and people treated them different. So we're going to hear what they got to say. Let's watch. Hey, if you've had pretty privilege like your whole life, can you stitch this and tell me like what your worldview is? Like, do you think that people are really nice? Because I just recently got like a degree of pretty privilege and it has been insane how kind people are when they find you attractive. It is very <laughs> hurtful. I'll tell you that much. Mm -hmm. People who literally but this is look at me. Y'all see the title. Before, now like... Or they go out of their way to be kind to me. And, and this like, is the hey, revert. Whatever. Like, that's cool. Good for me. Because now I'm privileged. But. Like what is it? Like it's not even their fault. It's probably like a completely subconscious thing. Or unconscious. Or, I don't know. Whatever. But like. Rude. Oh my like, god. If you've girl. Had privilege, like your whole life. <laughs> can you stitch this? And Yes, girl, let's talk about it because it needs to be talked about. Okay, so let me get my credentials out of the way really quickly. A few years ago, I looked like this. Now oh, I look like this. And that has you. given me the power to experience both the this best is definitely and the worst. The reverse, the whatever. Maybe they doing both. Offer. Also, not to go super psychological on you at 9 o'clock in the morning, look up the halo effect on Google and learn more about this. So mm -hmm. now let's talk about what pretty privilege actually looks like. It could be, it's little subtle things that you wouldn't notice before. So for example, um, not being charged for that extra drink or dessert at a restaurant. Um having someone offer to put the air in your tires rather than see you struggle doing it. And you can tell me like, oh my God, Kelsey, like maybe people are just good or maybe they're just doing a good deed. And I'm okay, I'm with you. They're doing a good deed, but why didn't they do a good deed when I was 257 pounds, huh? <laughs> why did all of a sudden, all these good deeds start happening to me this mm -hmm. the moment I look like this? Because I went from like one good deed happening to me to a year to 10 of them happening to me in a week. That's not a coincidence, I'm sorry. Yeah. If you've had pretty privilege like your whole life, can you stitch this and Okay, but yes. So okay, I work in the service industry, right? Challenge. I'm a bartender. And if you were well, unaware, definitely. the way you look influences it a lot. Whether that's tips or you. how people treat you, it just does. And when I tell you that my whole life okay, changed, my bad. I'm not when I started change. getting help for my eating disorder, which resulted in weight gain after the pandemic, oh, I really didn't expect this to make me cry, but oh. people don't even look you in the eye anymore. They're not nice to you, especially men. Like, I would walk up and say, hey, how's it going? You know, how are you? And I used to get, I'm doing really great, honey. How are you? Now it's a little more like, hey, how's it going? What can I Two cores lights and a Bud Light. And for people saying that that doesn't actually happen, please raise your hand if you would willingly like to live as a fat person. And the fact that no one raises their hand makes the point. And it just makes you feel hopeless. Like, am I ever going to be worth more than my looks? If you've had pretty privilege, yeah. like, your whole life, can you stitch this? I am way too fucking sensitive to be contributing to this. My hand is literally shaking, but I'm gonna try. I am also very aware that by fitting into the beauty standard and by being white, that I am a very privileged person. So none of this is to insinuate that my experience has been harder than other people's, obviously fucking not. This is just some of what my experience has been living in this particular meat sack. Oh all my so life, almost every single time that I was acknowledged for something that wasn't my physical appearance, it was prefaced by the word actually. You're actually really smart. You're actually really funny. You're actually really oh, nice. And that made me deeply insecure. That fully conditioned me to think insecure. that the things that I find valuable about myself are just invisible to other people. It never occurred to me that people's misunderstandings and preconceived notions about me were on them. I, I took that on and I was like, that's my fault. I'm not doing a good enough job at proving myself to people and I gotta do better. And funnily enough, the desperate need to feel seen and understood um, makes you very easily manipulated by the old men that are preying on you. You have oh, that's privilege, a privilege like different your whole life. Can you stitch this? Yeah, girl, let's talk about it. So it's 100% true that pretty privilege does exist. And yes, it is absolutely rude how when people find you attractive, they're generally just this nice for that reason though. and that reason only. Until you, you are a woman in a power position who steps into a male-dominated industry, and then you might as well be carrying around a tray with coffee and snacks. Pretty privilege actually becomes nearly the opposite, at least in my experience. So I swear the logic is if you're pretty, you have nice hair, you have your makeup done, you have a nice outfit, you possibly could not be in a power position or have any intelligence whatsoever. 
So for me personally, I work in construction management on multi-million dollar jobs, and I can't tell you how fun it is to have my emails ignored and people literally talk to my male coworker and just act like I am there to serve them. So yes, while pretty privilege is a thing, it can be switched in the opposite direction. All right, girl. I mean, what she's saying is valid, but it's like, they talking about pretty privileged. First off, they all over the place with this goddamn comp so far anyway. But she up here like, well, let me tell you about how pretty privilege is like not a good thing. And it's in the opposite direction for me. And me being pretty is actually not a good thing <laughs> for the job that I work in. They actually look down on me because I'm so pretty. It's just like, girl. And she's so satisfied with herself. Privilege, like your whole life. <laughs> Can you stitch this? Sure. Someone said it. Before anyone comes to me, I'm not calling myself pretty. But I used to be like a really ugly kid. Like laughing stock of the school, ugly. But Show after us. I was a boy, ugly. And people used to look at me. Because people be capping when it comes to this too. Just because they want, I guess, uh, validation or they want likes or whatever. They be online like, oh, I was so ugly in middle school back then. They didn't want me now. I'm hot y'all all on me. And it's like, you probably wasn't even that ugly in high school or middle school. You put it on thick because you, you want this attention. I've seen a few posts like this actually going viral online and people got exposed. Their classmates start coming out like, girl, we went to such and such high school. Nobody was talking about you and saying you was ugly. Like, why you lying? Here go a yearbook picture. You was still cute in high school and middle school. Why you lying on it? <laughs> people do that and it's sad. The way that Hopefully she's not doing that. Has food stuck in their teeth and talk to me like I was disabled. Kind of grew into my features and that whole attitude changed. Anyone who grew up the ugly kid knows exactly what I'm talking about. Weird, but it's true. Hey, if you've had pretty privilege like your whole life, can you stitch this? And hello. So I don't know if I'm qualified to talk about this because some of y'all be looking like IG models in real life, but here's my experience. So basically this is how I look like throughout high school, no makeup, my hair's not really done, I haven't really changed much. So first I'm going to talk about my experience with the guys. So basically I've never gotten treated bad by a guy, and I'm not talking about relationships, I'm talking about guys that I'm just meeting or that are my friends. Hearing stories about these unconventionally attractive girls, um, talking about how guys disrespect them and look over them, I, it was mind blowing to hear because I've never had that experience ever. Guys are usually nice to me, um, and I would say 99% of my guy friends have either found me attractive or wanted to date me. I usually get guys to do whatever I want if it's reasonable, like if I need them to do this or that or give me money or whatever. Like Money! Whatever. And now recently that I've started wearing makeup and you know posting on IG, I've had even more attention from guys that would overlook me in high school, and now they want me. Hey, if you've had pretty privilege like your whole life... I feel like she was just... Okay, part two with how girls oh, you treat back. me. So I don't want to say it's the main reason, but it's one of the reasons why I had a lot of guy friends growing up. Um, because I look the way I look, guys treated me nicely. Okay, and girl. <laughs> I've had many instances where girls that were jealous of me and thought that I wanted to take their boyfriends when honestly it was the other way around. Usually it would be the guys that liked me and I didn't like them back. Um, maybe this is more of a me thing, but I've always felt like I've had to dim my light when I'm around other girls. Because what happens when I don't dim my light is that Guys will try to get my attention and they'll completely overlook my friends. Mm. Uh, so now it's a different situation. I am friends with girls that um, uplift me and I can't have guy friends because I just know that it's not a platonic friendship. They're always, they always have an agenda. Oh. And on the other side of the spectrum, I also have girls that look to me almost as a leader because of how I look. Uh, li if you've had pretty privilege like your whole life, can you stitch this? First of all, not all men are the way I'm about to describe. In my 10 years of service, I have made some true friends, but they are rare, they're hard to find, and they're not always around. I benefit from pretty privilege in my line of work. Mm -hmm. I notice it. People often use a friendlier tone of voice with me than they do with other people, but they don't want to be friends with me. Mm -hmm. The faithful married ones don't want to spend time around me at all. The shady married ones want to spend too much time around me. The single ones sometimes become my friends, but they usually stop spending time with me once they get a girlfriend, and some men pretend to be my friend, but once I turn down their sexual advances, at the worst of times, this happens. Oh. I have pretty privilege, 100%, but girl, I would trade in that friendly tone of voice for a real friend every single time. trying to understand how that how that situation went down like so 
a nigga was trying to fuck with you and you was like, nah, I'm good. And he just started taking off on you. Like, I, I just, I'm not saying that she lying at all because it's, there are some crazy people out there. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, I'm going to leave it alone. Uh, some of these women were annoying. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, only one girl stuck to the fucking topic at hand. The title says, if you had pretty privilege your whole life and now, well, it said, and now it's fat. <laughs> but I was like, okay, and now you're fat. That, that's what I thought this compilation was going to consist of. But it, it was a lot of chicks on here just kind of patting themselves on the back, to be honest. Especially that girl with the glasses. Oh, my God. Anyway, sticking to the topic, though. I've been fat many times in my life. <laughs> so I can uh, low-key attest to this. Um, I definitely noticed a difference in male attention. When I was on the heavier side, I definitely got a lot less male attention versus when I was on the slimmer side. Um, yeah, because my weight has fluctuated quite a bit in my life. Uh, now, I'm very proud of myself, though, because I've been very consistent with my fitness. So I'm trying to, you know, stay around this size and not, you know, balloon back up to nearly 200 pounds <laughs> like I have before. But, um, yeah, it is a thing. It's, it's very uh, real that... Uh, people treat you differently when you are overweight versus when you're on the slimmer side. It is a thing. So, um, yeah, the couple people who actually did stick to the, the challenge, I, I agree with them. These other people, goddamn. Y'all let me know what y'all thought, though. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see you on the next one.